To perform a calibration, it's very easy. Fill the tank with water, and we suggest adding a few milliliters of isopropanol or ethanol. This helps prevent formation of bubbles underneath the weighing stage and the samples, which results in unwanted buoyancy. Close the stage, turn the power on, allow the system to stabilize, and to calibrate, hold down key A and press enter until cal is displayed. Okay. Now you see cal zero. Press the B key. The stability mark will appear. Take the 200 gram weight as shown in the display. Place very gently on the aerial sensor. Now press the B key. The stability mark appears. Then N will be displayed. Calibration is over. Remove the 200 gram weight gently. And press the Enter key. The system will reset, re zero, and you're ready for reuse. You can check calibration, applying the weight. We should be plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. Remove the weight. We're now ready for operation. And the proper setup, it is to position the weighing stage in the tank of water, fill with water to the indicated mark, place the sensor stage directly into the water, use tweezers, see that the sensor stage does not touch the side of the tank in any way and press zero. If you don't get a good zero, simply turn off and back on and allow the balance to re-zero. <clears throat> the stability mark indicates the balance is ready for operation. In practical operation, the windscreen should be placed around the instrument as even the motion of air from your hand can offset the balance. It is critical that the table be level, that the balance be level using the mark on the rear of the instrument, and that all airflow is directed away from the instrument. Okay, close the sensor stage. Re-zero when we are ready for the first weighing operation. Take the sample to be weighed, place on the top, this is called the aerial sensor stage. Allow the mark to come up onto the balance. Press A gently and then the enter key gently. Five marks will appear and then the value will appear of the aerial weighing on the, on the balance display. Remove the sample, open, and, prep and place in the water. If the sample sinks, the density is greater than one. It is not necessary to use the steel weighing angle. If the sample is less than one and floats, it'll be necessary to put the steel angle on top of the sample to keep it submerged. At this time, press B gently and then enter. The timing marks disappear. The stability indicator will appear and then the mark will go to specific gravity. And the specific gravity of this is 
1.675. Now, standard temperature is 4 degrees C. Although most labs are not that standard temperature. So to compensate for this, you have supplied a precision thermometer and the instructions for using this is to remove the power, place the thermometer in the bath and allow to stabilize. This is set around 20 degrees so we'll read 20 degrees C plus and we can see our temperature current temperature in here is 24 degrees C. So turn the balance on, a little stabilize. Okay, at this point press the re-zero key and A. We'll see at this time flashing cursor. This is the actual temperature. If we press enter sequentially, we can enter the actual water temperature. 24 degrees C. At this point, we press B to move the cursor to the right. And now we will put to the compensated water temperature. And if you're normally measuring at 15 degrees C, which is common in the lab, we put 15 degrees into the second display <clears throat> and press A key to memorize. At this point, the thermometer can be removed. I suggest place it back immediately in a protective packaging to prevent it from rolling. a different sample, let's try some metal.